Well, initially I tried to build this out of wood and I completely ruined it and it was too bulky and you can see this is just a much smaller straight to the point kind of because you start by drawing the holes yeah <laughs> rather than you start with a block and you have to make the Whistle holes in it, down, it. Exactly. first of all you draw the holes and then you draw exactly the right amount of material around them to, yeah. to support them so, it's a complete... so basically first of all we measured the dimensions of the uh, of the end of the pillar drill here um, well, first of all I just drew the uh, the size of the smallest circle on the bottom of the uh, of the shaft here mm -hmm. um, and I measured roughly how far away this circle um, should be from from that hole there I just drew this circle in um, and made this sort of teardrop shape around it that's just the kind of the the smallest amount of plastic you need to kind of contain those two circles yeah. um, and then just extruded it upwards um, allowing for a sort of uh, lip which you can't quite see here um, and once I'd kind of got this basic shape uh, drafted out I just drew a line down the middle made a millimetre gap mm. uh, that is I drew two lines a millimetre apart through the entire model deleted the, the lines which are in the middle um, which cause it to be separated into two halves and then I added the, the holes for the bolts <laughs> um, yeah rather than just sliding it on up this way um, actually these circles here are smaller than the, the widest part here so yeah. we had to figure out some way of getting it on um, without damaging it um, I did actually make a slight mistake I mean, I guess this is supposed to be a blog about the whole process of design, so mm. it's worth mentioning. I did make a mistake uh, with the the distance from the center of this to the center of that, yeah. um, and that's basically because I, I, despite using an incredibly accurate tool like a vernier <laughs> caliper, all I could do is basically guess uh, really? where the center of that was and where the center of, of that was. Yeah. Um, Kind of when I was trying to find, like, estimate the centre of, of this, mm. just from the edge of this column here, it felt dead accurate, but actually I was out by several millimetres, yeah, so it it's just worth putting some extra thought in when you are designing yeah. something like this, just to I mean, make everything yeah, just as accurate as it can. possibly can be. But then this is another, another thing with this, the trial and error process of printing, it's like, yeah, you yeah. do it, you print it, you test it out. I mean, not everyone's going to have a veneer caliper. They're not going to have. Well, I think know, that's. I, I think if they you should do. <laughs> well, I, I think that is actually the only way to do this. You need it. Um, right. uh, because of the tolerances involved. I mean, I think when we talked about it before, I, I mentioned like if you're doing it in wood, yeah, then a few like a few tenths of a millimeter just, you know, it, it's nothing, but. Because the like one of the side effects of the rep wrap being so accurate mm. is that if you're not perfectly accurate in your measurements yeah. and you get something smaller than it should be, it just won't fit. Yeah. Um, so I mean, in a way, like that's something that makes the design process more challenging. Yeah. Because you actually have to be accurate to enough to kind of reach the accuracy of the machine that yeah. is making it. Yeah. Um, could something right. could have been made like this if. Um, if we were, maybe had a milling machine made out of metal, we probably could have cut it out of metal and like hand sanded it and even tapped the metal. So that could have been another option, but yeah. that would have taken so much longer to do. I mean, I think guess the advantage of doing out something out of metal would be, it'd be even more rigid. So you've got that at the top, like basically adjust the where it stops. We've added a cool stop now to the pillar drill. Um, you know, we can just sort of estimate how deep it is and repeat that. Um, I think the one I saw actually where someone made one out of metal was for a, um, uh, to put, to take apart a veneer caliper and then attach it onto the side. So ah, you've actually got a digital wow. readout of, um, yeah. I mean, that's just like way beyond what we need to do at the moment. Exactly. <laughs> it's unnecessary, but um, that sounds pretty amazing. Yeah. Um, but the main thing is now this works. And the other thing as well is like the original, um, the original kind of collar uh, would have had this sort of 
guard over it and kind of all this kind of old paraphernalia. All that's cool. it's kind of safety equipment that usually gets in the way. It gets in the way, yeah. it means you can't see what you're doing. You know, okay, if this was a really full size, heavy duty milling machine, then you can understand why you need a guard. But you know, we're working with small pieces of wood, you know, sometimes very small pieces of aluminium. You know. And what's going to stop you wearing goggles if it's <laughs> something dangerous anyway? Yeah, exactly. We've got a face shield, we've got goggles, and all of those things are better than There's the shield like, that was on here already. Yeah, exactly. Um, and also, the, the original guard, the reason it's not here now is because it was so flimsy as well. Uh, at mm. least, like, one of them broke. I'm not sure whether it was this one or the one for the other pillar drill we have. I think it was this but one. But it, it was just a single... It was a very thin layer of plastic, actually, probably about a millimetre thick. Yeah. And then it just had lips on it to kind of fit all these thicker yeah. elements through it and keep it straight. And so, yeah, it was just too flimsy. Whereas this, yeah, this is solid plastic all the way from here through to the edge of the... Yeah. And it's still ABS. I mean, they used ABS. Yeah, yeah. It's so, the yeah, same material, yeah, same but material. just but better, far more heavy duty yeah. now. Yeah.